What is going on guys? Welcome back to a new video tutorial on how to create a splash screen for your app. So if you have never heard of splash screen is basically the first screen that would be shown to the user once the app is launched. And this could be really important because it would be the user's first interaction with the app. And you can put your app logo in the splash screen or you can put a simple animation to your splash screen to introduce your app to the user or to tell the user what your app is about. And to show you what we will be building in this mini tutorial is basically a splash screen that will be appeared for a few seconds with a simple animation. So we will have a simple animation and after a few seconds, it will get redirected to our home layout. So if this is what you want to create, let's get started right now. All right guys, so once you have created your new project, you need to create a new layout file for our splash screen. So go to resources and then layout and then right click on that and then create a new layout resource file and then call it splash screen and click on okay. And also you need to create a new Kotlin file for our splash screen. So go to Java and then go to your app package and right click on that and then go to new and then Kotlin file and then name your class, so splash screen and click on class and then enter. And once you have these two files, go to splashscreen.xml so that we will be building our layout for our splash screen. And once you are here, split your screen so that we can start on coding and then hide this for a moment. All right guys, so first we need to change the background color for our layout. So right before the closing tag, you need to add a background color and you can add whatever color you want. In our case, we will go with pink and we need to add few text view for our app logo. So text view and then go with wrap content and then wrap content as well. And then do not forget to provide an ID and the ID would be something like top text view. And then we need to add a text for our text view and then we will call a code and change the text size to 42 SP and then add the text color and the color would be white. And then we can change the style of our text to italic. Then we need to add few constraints so that we align this in the middle right there. So constraint top to the top of parent and then constraint right to the right of parent and then constraint left to the left or parent and then add a margin top of 250 dp and close this. So once we have our first text view, we can just copy this for our second text view and change this to middle text view and change this to width. And we need to change constraints top to the bottom of the ID top text view and change this 250 to 5 dp. And I think we can change the size of the middle one to 38 SP. All right, so once we have the second text view, we need to paste it one more time and change this to bottom text view. And then we will change this to Mazen. And obviously we need to change the constraints top to the bottom of the ID of um, middle text view. And obviously we need to change this to 5 dp as well. And this is it for our splash screen layout. And to make this layout, the first layout, once we launch the app, we need to go to project and then manifest and then open Android manifest. So we need to change this main activity to splash screen. And then we need to add label and the label would be splash screen. And then we need to add a theme and the theme would be add style and then slash theme and then dot transparent. And we have an error because we need to add this theme to our style.xml, which we will be doing in a bit. And do not forget to add another activity for our main activity. So let's do that activity. And then the name of the activity would be dot main activity. And then we need to add a label and the label would be splash screen as well. And the theme would be add style and then add theme. So once you have that, we need to close the activity and that's it. So once you have modified our Android manifest.xml, we need to go to resources and then values and then click on styles.xml so that we will style our theme for both the splash screen and the main activity. And for main activity, we need to change this color to something like pink. So let's change all these to pink. All right, so once we have this done, and then we need to add a different style for our splash screen so that we will make it full screen with no action bar. So style, and then the name would be theme dot transparent and the parent would be no action bar and then we need to close the style tag and style tag we need to add one item and the item name would be android window full screen and close the tag and set it to true so once we have this we need to go to resources and then right click on that and then go to new and then new directory and call it animation and once you have created this we need to create three files 
one for on the top and one for the middle and one for the bottom so let's do that so right click on that and then go to new and then animation and resource file and call it top animation click on ok and create the second one go to animation resource file and then call it middle animation and the third one is the bottom animation so bottom animation and click on ok so once we have top animation and middle and the bottom animation we need to create the animations so translate and the translation would be from x delta and put be zero and from y delta of minus 100 percent and android duration of 2000 millisecond and we need to close the translate and then we need to go with alpha and the alpha from alpha of 0 0.1 and then to alpha of 1.0 and android duration of 2000 millisecond so close this so this would start from the top not from left or right and we will have an alpha of 0 1 2 1 and we set the duration to 2000 millisecond which is two second so once you have this just copy this and paste it in bottom animation so paste it here and for the bottom we just need to remove this minus so that it starts from bottom to up and this is it and for the middle animation you just need to paste it here one more time but in this case we will have minus 100 for the x delta and then zero for the y y delta and this is it for our animations so now we need to go to splatscreen.cotlam file and we need to extend our app compact activity and this would be a constructor so once you have this we need to overwrite on create method so on create method and an on create method, we need to set um, content view, and the view would be resources dot layout, and the layout would be splash screen. So before we set the animation and how to redirect it from the splash screen to the main activity, let's run our app to see the results so far. As you can see, it works perfectly. We were able to set our splash screen to full screen with no action bar, and we changed the background color, and then we have three text views. And now let's work on how to animate these text views. So let's do that. So we need to create three variables and load our animations. So val top animation, and then we need to call animation util objects, and then you need to load the animation function, and the context would be this, and then we need to call our top animation file, so resources dot animation, and then top animation. So once we have a reference to the top animation file, you need to do the same for the middle animation and the bottom. So press on Control and D to duplicate the line and change this to middle animation. And don't forget to change the reference to middle as well and duplicate the same line again. So change this middle to bottom animation and change this to bottom animation as well. So once you have a reference to animation files, we need to set it to our text views. So let's do that. So we have top text view and then start animation and then pass top animation to it and then we have middle text view and then start animation and then pass middle animation object to it and the last one would be bottom text view and then start animation and then pass bottom animation object to it so to see the result of our animation run your app one more time as you can see our animation works perfectly and now we need to work on the last part which is to redirect this after a few seconds to the main activity so let's do that so we need to create a variable to set our splash screen timeout so val splash screen and then we need to set it to four seconds so 4000 milliseconds and we need to create another object for our home intent so val home intent and set it to intent and then for the package context is this and then add splash screen and then we need to pass main activity and then the class would be java so once we have these two we need to call handler object and then we will call post delay to it and then we need to open two parentheses and then we start activity and we will pass home intent to it and we need to call finish functions so that the user will not be able to go back to the splash screen once it's done and the second parameter would be splash screen timeout and then we need to cast it to long and this is it guys so let's run our app to see the result as you can see the animation works perfectly after four seconds we should get redirected to home activity or main activity all right guys we have done it if this is your first time here and you want to learn on how to create mobile applications web development and programming tutorials please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything so see you guys in the next video